to Connecting While Apart, a collection of life stories by community members living through the COVID-19 pandemic. So what's your name? My name is Tu, uh, Ronald like Tu, number two, and my friend call me Tutu. <laughs> and what suburb do you live in, Tu? Um, I live in South Melbourne. Who is in your community? Um, in my community is my close friend who also live in Melbourne and also my volunteer group. So which country are you from and what language do you speak usually? I originally from Vietnam. My mother tongue language is Vietnamese. How has the COVID-19 restrictions changed your community around shopping maybe you might want to talk about? Very funny that I discover a, a new hobby to go online shopping because uh, apparently you can buy a lot of different clothes, different size, uh, and then you can try it at home, you know, and if something you don't like, you can return. Because of the COVID, I stay at home a lot and I eat a lot, so I'm a little bit oh, put on weight. So, yeah, so it's actually very, very convenient um, for me to do that. So I think this is one of the, the upside of the COVID. <laughs> And, and, and I suppose also during the COVID restrictions, how have you been studying during this period? Uh, it's quite challenging at the beginning uh, because it's now all my class is online and I stay at home almost uh, five days a week. Uh, so I don't see my teacher in person. I don't see my friend in person. So sometimes the communication is a bit hard. I did the second semester now, so I, I slowly get used to the study online style. And I suppose also during during the restrictions, have you have you accessed your GP for support? Has that changed? Uh, in Vietnam, I don't have uh, the hay fever problem at all. But since I moved to Melbourne, uh, every time the spring come, I got really sick because that. So you you know, it's like running noise and crying. So it's a very similar symptom with the, the COVID nineteen. <laughs> so <laughs> I got that, and I really really need to see a doctor. And they say, no, I, I'm not allowed to come in because it's very similar symptom uh, with the coronavirus. So they asked me to do the test. So I, I did the test, everything that's all clean. So I called them again. Can I book appointment to see the doctor now? And they say, no, because you still have the symptom. So finally, I had to do a consultant through a Zoom call. And the doctor and I just should be online and looking at each other. Actually, you refer to see the doctor. They look at your eye. You know, they measure your temperature and now they can only see you on the screen and try to see what happening with you and how they can help you. So it was, it's, I think and that's why it's very challenging for me. Mm. And, and how has your community come together to aid and help each other through COVID? I think at the beginning it's very difficult for everyone because we don't know how to react. It's, but slowly, I think more and more we get together. So with my friend, Sometimes I, I share a cooking recipes and then and then she cook it and then she show the results and I show my results so we do more exchange. I, I also try to call my family in Vietnam more often as well. Mm. And will you continue to do some of these things like shopping and the way you talk to your family back overseas and the way you access, you know, you're studying now more online. Will you continue some of those things going forward? Even now, the shop open again in Melbourne, and there's still that risk there. So online shopping is still uh, my option uh, nowadays, and definitely more connect with my friend and family. Now we can meet up in the park. So I'm very excited, but we're also very cautious about that as well. So we still have to be careful, and, and we make sure that it's safe for us and also for our communities. And what message do you have for the community? I think for me, from my experience, if you have a problem, uh, if you feel lonely, just speak up and ask for help. You know, don't be ashamed that, okay, I'm sick, okay, I'm not well, my, my study is not good. Reach out for help uh, and um, you are not alone. Great. Well, thank you very much for joining us on this interview. And I hope that the general community will be able to listen to what you've said and, and take it in and, and hopefully we'll be able to make an impact in our local community. So thank you. Mm -hmm.